So he can take a stunner from Kevin Owens. Can he? <laughs> <laughs> I think we've proved that he can't. It's, what so it's a great year. question. What, it's, what, <laughs> it's a very what, good question. What last year's proved that he can't take a <laughs> stunner. <laughs> Support Wrestle Talk. Welcome to Wrestle Talk's brand new hit series. It's tables, lists, and chairs. Here is a table, here is a list, and here's three guys on chairs. And it's also a popular WWE concept match and pay per view. Is it? So it, it works on like multiple levels. And now here we are, running out of ideas. Well, we'll just name <laughs> them all after pay per view. <laughs> funny in the bank. Like, you know. <laughs> funny in the bank's not funny bad, in actually. The bank. That's actually pretty good. Write that down. <laughs> We're going to start with the title of a format <laughs> yeah. and reverse engineer it from there. Well, that's what you did for this, right? Maybe. Right. So the rules of the game are for this episode, I'm going to count down 10 shocking, like the most shocking, mm. returns, debuts, or cameos in this year's Royal Rumble match that are not currently signed by WWE. <sighs> so it is a Royal Rumble. Yes. It's a list. Can you see where I'm going to go with this? You're going to have to count down for every entrant. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you 10, 9, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And it's AOP, Authors of Pain. <laughs> but to, as one entry. Yes, they both come in at the same time. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> they were released in September 2020. And uh, in May last year, they announced their own promotion, Wes. Do you know what that stood for? Wes. Wes. It was W E S. W E S. Wrestling Entertainment Sports. Oh, that's not quite close. Wrestling Entertainment. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Comma. Stupid. stupid. It's Wrestling Re Entertainment. <laughs> stupid. It's Wrestling Entertainment Series. Oh. Yeah. What happened? They didn't actually pay for anyone's flights. Oh, what that that's not what uh that's not what their statement says. That's what the talent said on social media. <laughs> Press release for cancelling their debut event on the week of the show was so many talent not showing up, we will have no choice than to cancel the event. What? That statement finished with we promise that it will not end here. See you soon. And by soon, you mean the Royal Rumble yeah, on January 28th. They haven't together, been heard of for six end. months. First ever. <laughs> Chuck in Paul Ellering. Yeah, why not? Oh, I mean, that's a Triple H thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Or Drake Maverick, because he, he oh, also yeah. managed them. He did, yeah. Pissed himself. Pissed himself. <laughs> what other Famously pissed himself. I checked in on Wes's website, and it's got the normal match graphics and the promotion graphics behind it. Two giant graphics that say, sorry, this event has cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to see a AOP turn up in the Rumble? As one entrance. As one entrance. They're so big. Who big to be one entrant? They I'd like their down. flights not to have been paid for. <laughs> them to have walked. Just, just for clarity and legal purposes, they claim to have paid everyone and refunded tickets. Ten, nine, nine eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. And it's Lana. I think Lana will come out wearing a Rusev Day t-shirt. Oh. So not the Lana Day t-shirt, but a Rusev Day one to spark some Twitter rumors. Apparently she was going to chase an acting career. She got released in May 2021, but she's only starred in one movie. It's hard. Cosmic Sin. Cosmic sin. What's it about? It's not a porno. <laughs> how is it not? It how sounds is it, like, how is it not a porno? And, and not if not, it sounds like a porno company that yeah. makes space yeah. themed porn movies. Yes, exactly. Oh yes, the new Cosmic Sin videos. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> this is how they're officially gonna launch Wes. <laughs> <laughs> if this does mean she's returning to WWE, how would you see her? in the Rumble return, setting something up. Second wedding. <laughs> she could go to Liv Morgan. That's, yes, rekindle uh, that, fr that flame. Dolph Ziggler, all the terrible romantic <laughs> relationships Lana's been in. In fairness though, WWE's like eight of their top 10 most watched videos on YouTube are of like kissing. Triple H is like, well, none of those are my kissing. So <laughs> I'm gonna make my own kissing storyline and that'll be in the top 10 videos. It's kissing all the great Carly. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> Is he number eight? I haven't put Greg Carly down. He's getting his waps out. <laughs> <laughs> Ten, Ten. Nine. nine. David Arquette. <laughs> He's a former WCW World Heavyweight Champion. Who would you like to see him start a feud with? Johnny Knoxville. 
Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> Arquette versus Knoxville, WrestleMania, <laughs> Hollywood. Fair. Yeah, I guess because in that instance, Arquette would be the trained wrestler to help Knoxville through. But Knoxville's got a WrestleMania win. Yep. He's the veteran going into this, you could argue. Let's just be hitting each other light tubes, it'd be fine. Yeah, brilliant. Anyone you... Any serious suggestions? <laughs> well, no, oh, well, yeah. I think anyone who's going to hit with a light tube is fine. That's that's what he wants. And then, I mean, he only did that the once, and he yeah. really regretted doing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> he had a really bad time in that match. He actually almost appeared in an AEW battle royal. So this could be a way for Triple H <laughs> to get over another one on AEW. First they got oh, Cody, no. then they got Triple A, then they got <laughs> David Arquette. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, this is a brand new series. If you want to help it thrive and the channel, subscribe and share this video around and leave your comments down below with who you think could be surprise entrance into the Royal Rumble. Remember, only crazy, crazy ones and not currently signed by WWE. Ten, nine. nine. <laughs> Eric Young, Big Damo, and Alexander Wolf. It's a sanity reunion. <laughs> and again, this is one entrance. Well, I yeah. think in this one, the, what, what's the, the whole idea of their gimmick is that they don't play by the rules. They're a weird post dystopian faction. Or, like, you could do it as a Nikki Cross elimination. And then she is sort of like, goes, you know, looks really despondent. And then they just appear in the crowd. Just put Damo in there and let him just go. In nuts. the Women's Rumble. <laughs> in the Women's Rumble. Yeah, that's it. Rhea Ripley would still destroy him. <laughs> Only if this he comes in as Damo ASH. <laughs> <laughs> in a superhero outfit. The same one. Do you know what Eric Young has been doing? He went to Impact. Yes, mm. but he's just finished up with Impact yeah, in December. Yeah. yeah, he died. He was ridden out by being stabbed. Like just, EastEnders, where they're just like, you're not coming back. Yeah. No chance. It's how they originally wrote off Mickey James. She got pushed in front of a train. Yeah. What is it with impact? And there's no way for these people to come back now. <laughs> if you've not watched it, it's actually a really well done segment. <laughs> <laughs> it's really emotional. 10. <laughs> Kyrie Sane. Now this one I think is very likely. Well, what do you, what are you saying about Arquette? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one in this. I think it is a genuine, like, mm. for sure possibility that that Kyrie will be in there with the IWGP Women's Championship as well. The, all the rumors last year were that they were just phoning up like a week before. Me. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I don't know what you're up to. You free for the Rumble? And people were like, I like the Impact Women's Champion. So yeah. I'm like, no. <laughs> Turns out we've if, released far too many if, of you. <laughs> yeah. If you want me to, then yeah, I guess. Just rang people. I'm like, what are you doing? Chris? <laughs> not heard from you in ages. You want to come back in town? No, 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 dice. I'm signed for a long time for a load of money. You know my theories. It's just a slow way for Triple H to impress New Japan and bring them into the fold. And then, you know, when maybe the time's up for a new working relationship, oh, New Japan. See, I'm going to take what you just said then, but alter a few of those words. And when the time is right, shut them down and launch NXT Japan. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Take all of their talent. He's just printing out big stickers to put over their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> NXT Japan, perfect. You think when Kyrie Sane comes down, it's just yeah, gonna have gonna, a WWE yes. logo on the belt. Yeah, exactly. 10. Uh, Nia Jax. Ooh. What's wrong? Why did I get that reaction? She's not done anything I'm not aware of, has she? No. You just said you just both appeared like she'd been cancelled. How many people just liked her in the first place? I know, I know she was on the schedule to appear for World Entertainment Series. <laughs> the biggest thing she's done is sh in WWE over and over again. Over yeah. and over again uh, since leaving. But the Vince era, though, you know, mm -hmm. it's a new day. Yes, it is. Yeah. Maybe all it's going to take is one call from Hunter. And she's like, yeah, cool, I'll, I'll come do that. No, I think it's more the other way. I think it's more the WWE won't necessarily want her back after all the things she said. Like, I don't know. She's not going to show up in AEW. She's not going to do your local indie. WWE? Well, look, <laughs> but that was going to change the game, Luke. Well, you'd you be a fool not to get on board with WWE. and say she's not going to do any of the indie dates while she was signed to do Wes. She could have booked she, her own she, flight. She made enough That's money. That's what I think. She's related to Roman Reigns and The Rock. Mm. What better time if The Rock's going to come back and win and win the Royal Rumble? Nia Jax could win the women's, or she oh, enters perfect. into the men's. Yeah, because oh, she has. Oh, they love doing She's that. got previous. They love doing that with the Randy Orton feud. That's how Dean Ambrose <laughs> left WWE. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> the entire NWA. <laughs> As one entrance. Nick Aldis is the entrant, but then the red. Yes, Tyrus is the champion. 
If yep. you're doing an NWA invasion, surely you're leading with your champ. Yeah, well, Triple H just bought the NWA and, and reset everything by this point. Sorry, it works. But yeah, Nick Aldis. Repaired Nick Aldis's relationship with the NWA as well. <laughs> in that. Well, clean slate, clean slate. Clean maybe that's slate. it. Once you've bought it off Billy Corgan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you just sign a couple of Smashing Pumpkins records. You then make up with Nick Aldis yeah. and away you go. Exactly. I mean, look, a lot of guys returned in, in the summer. Mm. And a lot of them are still there. <laughs> <laughs> these were just the these were just the people who AEW hadn't signed. Oh, yeah, the dregs. The, 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 <laughs> the dregs of the people that yeah, AEW was like, What have we got? The, oh, the glass is empty. Who's there? Oh, it's Dexter Loomis. Oh, right. <laughs> I think Nick would be a, a pretty dig, good go at it. to the bottom of this treasure chest. <laughs> oh, there's a beef fab in here. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Uh, Mr. McMahon. Oh, no. What the, he said he wants to come back. He was given. <laughs> no! He was given bad advice. He was given terrible advice. And you think the answer to him, you know, repairing his public image is by entering into the Royal Rumble. Put him in the women's one. <laughs> <laughs> Wins by a hush money. <laughs> <laughs> the men's Rumble. Oh, okay, okay, and okay. he just, you know, gets a, a microphone and goes, We're all in this together. <laughs> No, I think he comes out with Titus as his spokesperson. <laughs> Titus is the one that cuts the promo from. Brilliant work in here. Everyone has a great time. So he can take a stunner from Kevin Owens. Can he? <laughs> I think we've proved that he can't. Is what so it's a year. great question. What, what, it's a very what, good question. What, what last year's proved that he can't take a stunner. <laughs> Ten. Ten. No. <laughs> the Rock. And yeah. wins the whole thing. Do you think that's actually going to happen? I think I think Rock Roman's the match at Mania. It doesn't need the Rumble though. Yeah, it yeah. It doesn't need the Rock. The Rock could walk in any day of the week and be like, yeah, Mania." <laughs> set, and just be like, sets his name on fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like if say Cody wins the Rumble to set up Cody Roman at WrestleMania, but on night two it's Rock versus Roman also for the belt on night two. Doesn't that mm. undermine the Rumble? You could just have Roman it could Rock be for the Bloodline. Oh. oh. You could win. Just be like. All right, I'm going to go do my films now. See you later, guys. Make I'm in charge. Just, just remember that I'm in charge. Black Adam 2, coming soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It made money, guys. That's what he's going to do. He's going to enter the Royal Rumble, <laughs> grab a mic at number 30. Just before I beat everyone, I just want everyone to know Black Adam will be profitable when all is said and done, when the streaming deals and licensing agreements and merchandise considerations are taken into account. Zack Snyder lied to me. Henry Cavill made the right choice leaving The Witcher. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And who do you think it is? Is this our last one? Yeah. Shame at man. Oh, that's a good shout, but Shame he, at man he, and he's booked it as well. He just sweated. <laughs> he's gonna win it this time. <laughs> this time I'm gonna win it. Uh, so they could either be you might throw a Kenny Omega in there, mm. a Will Ospreay, mm. or is he gonna say CM Punk? It's CM Punk. <laughs> <laughs> CM Punk coming in at the Rumble. And not winning? Yeah, sure, he could win. I, I didn't get that far. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie just put number one, CM Punk. That was the first name <laughs> we wrote down. You got a heart around it. <laughs> well, then you set up the main event of WrestleMania. It's Rock versus Punk. What number do you bring Punk out at? Because bearing in mind, like that'll be the ultimate pop. It's your number 30, isn't it? Or you do a 29, and then number 30 is Mad Cat Moss. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's uh, there being like, it's got to be someone huge, right? It's got to be someone massive. Where can they go from here? <laughs> well, I, I've said it before. If he just says to Tony, but I've got, you know, my son in NXT who I want to coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a very easy negotiation. My dog's in NXT. <laughs> Those muffins I like, <laughs> they're actually in Florida near the NXT performance center. Has anyone analyzed those muffins yet? See if there was a hidden message <laughs> within those muffins. Truth serum. Punk Vince at Mania? <laughs> well, I had, and it can't happen, of course, because he's a cardiac events retired. But Triple H Ooh. would have been the perfect opponent for Punk. It would just be Seth, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's always Seth. Or LA Knight. That'd be a great promo battle. Well, if anybody else has any other suggestions, please do put them in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and share this video around. Tables, lists and chairs! It's going to be big. And also, go watch our three count video that me and Luke did the other day. But for now, I've been Ollie Davis. This has been Laurie Blake. That's Luke Cohen, D.A.D. Jam that jam. Wins Royal Rumble. I got eliminated by Owens. Mm. I feel like it's going to go one of two ways. I'm going to be so invested in it. <laughs>